The National Imaging Informatics course is a week-long online course experience designed to teach radiology residents the fundamentals of imaging informatics. The program was developed by myself, Dr. Nabil Sufter at Emory and Dr. Kathy Andriol at Harvard with support from Dr. Michael Recht at NYU. The first year of the course was also supported by a Strategic Alignment Award from the Association of University Radiologists. Course faculty come from programs all over the world and are experts in the field of imaging informatics. We wanted to introduce radiology residents to the fundamental principles of imaging informatics, and so we cover everything from the basics of clinical workflow, the hardware and software requirements, standards, uh, patient-centric radiology, the business aspects of the specialty, but also some of the hot topics such as machine learning, data science, and 3D printing. So the week-long course consists of a series of live online lectures, online small group discussions, uh, as well as a set of enduring content that can be reviewed before or after the live sessions. In addition, there are pre- and post-course assessments and homework assignments over the course of the week. So this is the first time that imaging informatics education has been made available universally to residents around the world. We really tried to leverage the concept of a massive open online course to bring the education to the learners rather than the other way around. The course is actually tailored to fourth year radiology residents, but not limited to fourth year radiology residents. It's open to radiology trainees at all levels, radiology faculty, IT experts, practicing physicians in other specialties, and even students from a variety of disciplines. If you're interested in learning more about the course, you can search for the National Imaging Informatics Curriculum and Course, uh, talk to your program director, go to our website, or email informatics at rsna.org. Imaging informatics affects so much of how we take care of patients every day, and it's important to have an understanding of these fundamental principles to be able to troubleshoot potentially when things go wrong, but also to have a better understanding of how our systems work.